How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Study Hat, and in today's lesson we'll be looking at an introduction to nets and cubes. This topic is one of the harder ones that you'll find in the nonverbal reasoning exam, as it requires you to visualise 2D and 3D shapes in the form of nets, but with enough practice you'll find that there are certain techniques that you can use to go ahead and tackle these questions yourself. With that being said, let's take a look at some of the example questions which net can or cannot be made exactly from the cube, or which cube can or cannot be made exactly from the net. In this lesson, we'll be covering the aspects of folding a net into a cube. There are 11 different ways of drawing a net of a cube. However, for your exam, the two main net types are on screen right now. To help you really visualise turning a cube in a net, take a look at this right here. As you can see, the cube is being opened up into the form of a net. The top has been lifted up and that goes to the very end. And then both side faces have been opened which are now placed on the left and right. That's only one way of opening the cube up. Remember, a cube can be opened up in many other ways. So here's the same exact cube being opened up into a different net layout. This time the green side has been flapped down first. And then the yellow side gets lifted up and that is then taken to the end. Everything else folds down so you're now left with a T-shaped net. These are both from the exact same cube, but yet the nets are different and that's because they were opened up in a different way. What you'll find in exam questions is that your net or cube will have different shapes on each face. So let's take another cube and see what happens when it's opened up. Once again, the top face is being lifted up and is now at the end. The sides are also folded down and as you can see, we now have a complete net from this cube right here. It's a good idea to get used to remembering that a cube can open up into different nets, so let's take a look at another example. This time, the same exact cube has been folded from the face on the left, which is now gone to the front. Then the sides are folded down, and that completes the new net. Once again, there's two different nets, but both were folded from the same cube. If you remember this rule that I'm going to show you next, it will make answering cube questions a breeze as you'll be able to eliminate any wrong answers and spot them easily. If you can see from these images, what we've done is numbered the cube. The numbers represent opposite faces of the cube itself. What that means is when this net is folded, the numbers that are highlighted will end up opposite each other, as you can see right now. One and six will end up opposite each other when folded into a cube. Two and three will also end up opposite each other and so will 4 and 5. What this shows is that if you have two opposite faces, you will only be able to see one. When folding 1 and 6, you can only end up seeing one out of the two faces. You will never see 1 and 6 together, as they are meant to be on opposite ends, so this is a great method to remember for the exam. If we then take a look at an example using what we've learnt so far, it says which cube can be made from the given net. Let's start off by eliminating any obvious cubes. Going back to what we just talked about with the numbering, faces 4 and 5 here should be opposite each other, not next to each other. Remember, you shouldn't be able to see these two faces together, since they are meant to be on opposite ends. Therefore, C is one we can eliminate. I've also noticed that D is also incorrect, because if this net was folded and the circle was in fact at the top, then the direction of the arrow would change since it's being folded down. The key word being down. But as you can see here, the direction stays the same, so we can eliminate D as well. Looking at E, we can see that the direction of the dotted line doesn't match up correctly as it should be facing this way if the hexagon was on this side. Because if you think about it, if you were to fold the net up and the line was facing this side, then what you'd expect to see is the hexagon to be right here. But it isn't which is why E can't be the correct answer. That leaves us with A and B to choose from. Looking at A, we have this line here, and then the kite shape below it. But if the net was folded from this line, what you'd expect to see is the dotted line to be facing in a sort of horizontal direction, which it isn't. Therefore A is incorrect, leaving us with the answer of B. Let's just double check to make sure though. If we fold it down, the direction of the line would be here. Yes. And also, this kite shape on the right gets rotated when folded down, so it is the correct answer. Moving on to the next question. Which cube can be made from the given net? What we need to look for is any obvious cubes which can't be correct. 
so looking at the numbered figure, we know that any opposites won't be seen together. A good way to eliminate any wrong answers is to check to see if any answers have two opposite sides together, as you'll know that is incorrect. Look at C. Both sides 2 and 3 are together, which is incorrect, so we can cross that one off. There aren't any other cubes where the opposite ends are placed incorrectly, so let's start with A. Since the line is now vertical, we can rotate the net to help us out when visualising it being folded down. If we fold it down, you'll see the kite on this side, and also this raindrop figure on this side as well. Therefore it does make a cube from the given net, leaving us with A as our answer. The final question for this lesson, which cube can be made from the given net? Just like before, we can start off by eliminating any cubes that have their opposite sides facing each other. Looking at A, it has both sides 2 and 3 next to each other, which therefore is incorrect as opposite sides wouldn't touch each other when folded down. We also have D, where opposite sides are together, so that can be eliminated. And I just that spotted E is the same so that can be crossed off too, since numbers 4 and 5 are together. That now leaves us with B and C as possible answers. Taking a look at B, we can see that the circle is at the top. Also, the blank face is at the right position. But this face here should actually be black as it is being folded onto the left-hand side, so B is incorrect, leaving us with C as our answer. Just to make sure C is the correct answer, it folds down with the circle face. Then the line is at the top, which means on the left-hand side the black face should be there, which it is. So therefore C is the correct answer. That's it for today's lesson on nets and cubes. I'll be going over part two in the next lesson, which will go over another common question type. So don't forget to have a go at the quiz right after this, and I'll talk to you in the next one.